now uh, let's see uh, vfd and the motor connection so uh, right now uh, i'm working with the vfd el delta and uh, these are the inputs to the vfd line 1 line 2 this is the line 1 line 2 and the ground connection this three are the inputs single phase vfd this is this is the display from where i can uh, run stop change the frequencies mode and enter the parameters this is the indication of a frequency run forward reverse and the stop this is the another knob to change the frequency okay so uh, this are the this is the display let's see the in output connections so this is the three terminals will go to the uh, motor terminal you can read here that 1 2 and terminal 3 okay u v w this is the three phase output coming from the vfd and is directly connected to the motor you can see here a three terminals is connected here and this is my three phase three phase and the ampere internally delta connection and hp 0.5 horsepower a motor three phase so we are going to change this the speed and the direction of the rotor through this uh, vfd so let's uh, see another connections given to uh, we need to provide to the vfd so uh, first is 24 volt output from the vfd this mi1 master input 1 to mi6 are the inputs to the vfd to control the speed and the direction of the motor okay multifunctional input it's called then the 10 volt output here the dc m digital common okay and uh, avi afm and acm so the avi is analog voltage input this is the analog voltage input analog current uh, sorry uh, analog voltage input and analog current input we need to provide here this is the analog common this is a digital common and this is an analog common if you are going to work with the avi then you need to connect the aci common okay this is the frequency so these are the terminals extra and ra rb rc as the feedback terminals from the vfd so the, these are the output terminals so if you want to check the vfd is uh, motor is running or not what's uh, forward direction or reverse direction so we can check it out from these three terminals and the many functions done by this rrbrc and uh, mi1 to mi6 okay so it's depending on your connections how you are going to do and how you are going to set the parameter over here one more thing is here a small switch is you can see small switch is over here uh, you can see here is the npn and the pnp and the second is avi i and aci so if you are going to give a input like a pnp so you need to shift this to towards the pnp and if you are going to connect the terminals like npn so put it over on uh, up down uh, up uh, npn second is uh, your knob is uh, providing a voltage analog voltage so put it on a avi otherwise put it on a aci if there is a current source to change the frequency so these are the two uh, dip switches you need to uh, set up as per your application okay and uh, there is a, a next 
we will see the how to change and uh, set up the uh, wiring to uh, uh, control the motor okay thank you